hope y'all are doing great. Today on this video, I'm going to share with you my top 10 things I would get from Amazon for your RV. Keep watching. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our This adventure. is our adventures. Oh. Here we go. I was thinking for this video, I would do my top 10 things from Amazon that I bought for my RV that I think that you might would want to know about. I will have links to everything in the description box below. These won't be in any particular order. They'll just be kind of random. But let's just jump right on here to number one. Tension rods. Tension rods for me, you can get them off of Amazon, probably the best place to get them from. And they have like a pack that you can get a bunch of different lengths of them. And that's what I did when we started RVing, is that was probably one of the first things I put in my cart to check out from, from Amazon was tension rods. These things can be used for a lot of different things, but the main thing is holding stuff inside the cabinets. You know, when you're going down the road and it's all rocking and a rolling, you don't want anything popping out. And I promise it will. Museum putty. This stuff, it will save you tons of time on moving day because you're not having to put up all those items that are being set out. I've got to add me a little museum putty to this little piece and this little piece. But there is a video that I did also where I talked about museum putty that you can watch. But museum putty is my number two. Is these baskets, if you've got any deep cabinets that you need to be able to get to the stuff in the back and you don't want to have to fumble through to get to everything. These baskets are awesome. I have the two basket one here and down here I have the one basket. So they kind of got like a different ones, but my favorite one is the two tier basket. My, my number three is the wire sliding basket. is these baskets that you hang and put on the shower. A video up above of my bathroom organization, but I have tried several of these baskets and these by far have been the best. And the other ones I bought from Amazon too, but these were just better. And they come in, I think they come in white, black, and silver, I think that I can link all three colors in the description box below. But my number four thing is the shower caddies for the shower. It's this screen door handle and this was super cheap. It's adjustable so it can fit almost any size screen door, but this, absolutely we waited way too long to change this out but i love this bar because like when you open your door and you go to close it you don't have to try to grab this handle which for me was always you know i felt like i was going to fall out the door trying to get to it so my number five is the screen door handle is a 1k cup keurig this one right here is really old it's probably four or five years old so i don't know that they have this exact model on there but i know they have ones like it but what i love about it is it's a very slim takes up hardly any space and you can just do one cup at a time if you use the keurig like the one that i've just did a video on it's bigger and it has the water reservoir 
but literally this one, you fill up your cup, you pour it in, and you make one cup at a time, and there is no cleanup. You don't have to pour out any water because you only put in the water that you need to get out for your cup of coffee. My number six is the Keurig One Cup Coffee Maker. Now, I've come inside the house for this one. This one I don't keep in my camper, but I know a lot of people do. I keep mine in here because in the house because I use it a lot here, but it is my Igloo Ice Maker. I got this for my 50th birthday from my great friends that threw me a party. I did a video about that. I love this thing. It is really good. It's a tabletop version. And what I've done to use it in the camper is I bag up ice before we go on a trip. I have bought some bags off of Amazon and I just bag up ice and then I just put the bags of ice in the freezer in the camper and use it from there. So my number seven is my Igloo Ice Maker. My next one is our moon chairs. These are super comfortable. Absolutely love them. The only negative that I can say is if it's really hot outside, you can sweat just a little bit, but they're fabric. So it's not like a sweat, like, not like an icky sweat, I guess would say. I don't know how to explain that. But you can sweat in these a little bit because they are like padded. But I guess you probably could sweat in any chair, but this is just the only ones that we've ever had because we absolutely love them. My number eight is the moon chair. The plate stackers. They make a plate and a bowl, and this is a great way to keep your plates from falling out of the cabinets. They're just little plastic containers that hold your plates and your cut bowls, and they just put them up there. And that was one of the first things that I bought when we bought our camper was the plate holders. My number nine is the stack of plate plate holders. is the Corel plates. These don't break and these are great for RVing and they are kind of like a glass, but they are great for traveling and I will link some. I don't know if they still have these or not, but I will link you some below. But my number 10 is Corel dishes. And for my bonus, because I didn't want to include this because this is kind of a give me. You have to know that you got to get this from Amazon. Command strips because they hold up your pictures great and make sure you get the 16 pound. But to me, these are a no brainer and I'm going to link these and the command hooks in the description box because both of those command products, those are my bonuses, but they were kind of give me's. You have to order those because they are like, you might, I don't know if anybody else has found them cheaper, but Amazon, you can get like a huge pack of 16 pound ones and they're the cheapest ones that I found and uh, I've gone through a bunch. So my bonus is command strips and hooks. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video on my favorite things from Amazon. These all are things that I feel like are must haves in the RV. I know that a lot of other people have different ones, but you know, hey, everybody has different opinions on this. And I wanted to give you my top 10 favorite ones. Oh my gosh, you have got to hit that subscribe button if you're not already. And hit that bell notification. I was looking at my analytics and uh, like only 45% of people watching this video are actually subscribed. What's holding you up? Hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. That helps 
And uh, I'm gonna borrow a saying from our uh, friend, the McGuire's. If you didn't like this video, hit the thumbs down twice. Just do it double. I've absolutely loved making a lot of these RV videos and I just been trying to do things that I know y'all want to see. I know this is Bill and Kelly's adventures and if you've been watching all these last videos, y'all are probably like, where's Bill? I only see Kelly. Well, he is only there for the adventure part. He's not there so much for these videos. But we are fixing to head to Destin in about oh, three weeks and we're gonna have some fun. We've got some great new exciting things lined up down there for us to do while we're there. So keep watching and we'll be traveling next month. So we'll have some travel videos coming up. And until then, I will keep doing some RV videos. Till next time, like and subscribe.